Do you remember I said that I'd be starting each of our little videos with me saying hello in a different language? Well, that was today's different language. Czeszka! Anyone like to guess which language I'm speaking in? Probably very badly. Here's a little clue. The flag of the country. Czeszka! That's hello in Polish, in case you didn't know. And I didn't know, I had to look it up on Google. Why don't we pray together? Let's close our eyes. Dear Father God, thank you once more that you love us so much. Thank you, Jesus, that you didn't leave your disciples on their own. You sent the, the Holy Spirit to fill them up and you send us that same power. You send the Holy Spirit to us. We're not on our own. You're with us wherever we go and we are so grateful to you for that. Thank you, Father God. Thank you, Jesus, your son, and thank you to you, Holy Spirit, for filling us and giving us your power. Amen. Fantastic. I hope you have a great week. If you remember last time, last Sunday, we started our brand new series, Diary of a Disciple. And the first episode in this series was how Jesus called his first disciples. And we're looking at the life of Peter, one of Jesus' disciples, and how he was called. Let's remind ourselves by looking at this little video together. Hurry up, get those nets out. Complete waste of time, all night at sea, all night. And what do we have to show for it? Well, a temper it seems. Cheer up, Simon, you'll be off to your bed soon. Only if the tax collectors haven't taken it while I was away. <laughs> Simon, <sighs> James. And if that weren't enough, those brothers of ours, Nowhere in sight. James, Simon, you're not gonna believe this. <sighs> well, it's a fine time to show up. We have a business to run, little brother. I know, James, but there's a good reason we're late. There'd better be. We found him. Found who? The Messiah. <laughs> the Messiah? <laughs> the Baptist, he, he told us to follow him. And so we did. We've been talking to him. Yes, all night. All night. Here it comes. All night. We've got a business to run. And you two have nothing better to do than waste your time on... And who are you? Who are you? Jesus. This is he. This is the one, Simon. The Messiah. Jesus of Nazareth! Calm down, Simon. The Messiah? <laughs> the Messiah we have been waiting for? <laughs> A poor man from Nazareth? <laughs> it's true, Simon. Take the boat out again. What? Why? You want to catch, don't you? I'm not about to. We were fishing all night. We've caught nothing. I... Come on, Simon. James. What have you got to lose? You've been up all night already. Come on. Let's see what this is all about. All right, just to get this nonsense out of your heads. But it'll be you two doing all the work next week. Lower the nets here. This is a waste of time. A complete waste. Wake me up when... Oh! Oh! oh. Simon!
Simon, look! Come and look! <laughs> well, come on, help us! <laughs> there are too many of them! The nets are breaking! Call the other boat! The boat! Bring the other boat! Lord! Lord! largest catch we've ever had and the biggest sale Th that's two shekels and uh, that's three shekels rabbi please depart from me i i am a sinful man don't be afraid simon peter follow me what do you mean Follow me, Peter. All of you, follow me, and I will make you fishers of men. You mean now? Yes, Peter. But this is the biggest catch we've ever had. From now on, you shall catch men. When Peter and the other disciples chose to follow Jesus, it meant that they had to leave things behind. They left their old jobs behind. They were fishermen. They, they weren't fishing anymore. And they left their homes behind. And they had three of the most fantastic years of their, their whole lives following Jesus when he was with them on earth. And sometimes following Jesus means that we have to leave things behind as well. In fact, there's a man called Paul who wrote some letters to the first churches. And in one of his letters, a letter to a church in that place called Ephesus, he said to the people that lived there that sometimes what we have to do is we have to take off our old life. And this waistcoat is meant to be my old life. Take off your old life. And our old life is a life when maybe we told lies or we got angry or we stole or we were just unkind to people. Take off your old life and put on a brand new life. That's the life that you have when you become a Christian, a follower of Jesus. And in the new life, you're kind to people and you don't tell lies and you treat everybody fairly and you, you treat everybody with respect and you do the right thing. Take off the old life, leave it behind, put on a brand new life as a Christian following Jesus. That's what Peter had to do. And that's what Jesus invites us to do as well. Right. OK, following on to that, I have got here. You may have heard of a game called Kim's Game. And Kim's Game, it was named Kim because there was a book written by someone called Rudyard Kipling. You might have heard of him. He famously wrote The Jungle Book and he wrote a book called Kim. And Kim was a spy. And Spies, they need good observation and a good, a, a good memory. So Kim's game, to train Kim up, he would get some obstacle, articles and he'd try to remember them as best that he could do. So Kim's game is like this. What I'm going to do, I've got 12 different items on this tray. I've got some, I'm going to show you them one by one. I've got some top trump cards. I've got a Cocoa Pops bar. I've got a spoon. A lot of these things are yellow. In fact, they're nearly all yellow. I've got a pencil. I've got a banana, I've got some Lego, I've got a scrunchie, I've got a little duck, I've got a mug, I've got a minion, um, I've got some sweet corn in water, I think I mentioned that dice as well. So I've got these 12 things here together on this tray. What I'm going to do is I, I should put a picture of them up on the on the video. So there are 12 things there, you can see that, 12 things that I've just shown you. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get this tea towel. 
Let me just put this down for a moment. I'm going to put this tea towel, my Scotland tea towel, and I'm going to cover my tray up. Okay, so the 12 things are underneath there. Hope you remembered what they were. And then I'm going to remove one of those 12 things. And I'm going to show you this tray at the end of the video. And you've got to try to remember what you saw and then remember what thing I left behind. I left. So I'll just take one of these things out and um, if you want to send a little email to me if you remember what the thing was I left behind. Okay, so right, let me pop that tray down and tell you what's going to happen next because we haven't got Chunky Monkey. I thought that while we're doing the uh, Diary of a Disciple We'll come back to monkey business a little bit later on, but instead of monkey business, we've got a new thing which is going to run for the whole of this series, and it's called Minute to Win It! Okay, so this is the Minute to Win It challenge. This is what you'll need. You'll need four plastic cups like this, four plastic cups and three pieces of card. And what I've got, I've found some old Christmas cards which I just cut up. So three pieces of card like so. And what you do is you place the cups like this, one on top of each other. And then, once they're like that, the idea, so a piece of card in between each of the cups like so and you've simply got to take out a piece of card one at a time to stack the four cups one on top of each other and you've got a minute to do it neatly if it fails within that time you'll have to rebuild it and see how far you get okay so let me find a timer here on my phone I'm going to set it to a minute and Go, let's see how I can go. So, uh, now I'm probably now you're all watching, it's not going to work, is it? Okay, got one down, okay. And now I can then find that. You can, you can only use kind of one hand on the card each time, it doesn't mean which hand, but you can only use one hand. You can't touch the cups, obviously. Oh, oh, and they've fallen off, so I've got to stack it up again. 25 seconds gone, not doing so well. I did do this practicing before and it did a lot better, so let's have another go. One, two, oh I missed again! Oh 39 seconds, am I going to do it? I don't think I'm going to do it properly or neatly. I've got three but it's just that last one. Oh, oh it's all going wrong, it's all going wrong for me. You're probably going to do this far far better than I can at home. I think that minute's going to go off. I've already, oh, look at that, it's already at... I've gone past a minute. Let me just see if I can do it, though. Let's, let me give myself one last go. I know, I've gone past a minute. Listen, you'll probably do this far better than me at home. Um, you've got a minute to do it. Tell me if you've done it. Okay, so good luck with your Minute to Win It challenge, and I said that I'd come back to this tray. So I'm good. I've removed one of those 12 items, and I shall show you the tray again. And I'll again put a photograph of the tray up on the screen. Let me turn it around for you, just so that hopefully you can see all the things that are on that tray. If not, like I say, I'll put a photograph of the tray with the thing removed. Can you spot what I took out. How good is your memory? How good were your observational skills? Okay, so this week we're going to leave you with a new song and um, it's called My Lighthouse. Maybe you heard of it before. So join in with some of the actions that you're going to see on the screen and we will see you next time. In my wrestling and in my doubts in my failures you won't walk out Your great love will lead me through You are the peace in my troubled sea Whoa, You are the peace in my troubled sea In the silence you won't let go 
In the questions your truth will hold Your great love will lead me through You are the peace in my troubled sea Whoa, You are the peace in my troubled sea My lighthouse, my lighthouse Shining in the darkness to show See, it's possible. <laughs>